guys we are back with another video and today we have here the 2020 bmw m5 and if you all are enjoying the content please like comment and subscribe i more so would love and appreciate if you all would subscribe we are making great content every single day and i'm getting the views but not the subscribers but this reminds me of the 2018 model i'm not really sure the differences but the starting price for this is $102, something like that. It still has 600 horsepower. As you can see, we have the dual um, pipes on both sides. I'm pretty sure it's maybe a little bit more louder than the 2018, but I really haven't got a chance to rev it or do anything like that. You still have the carbon fiber on the hood, as you can see, well, actually on the roof. This one has somewhat of a black, um, a blacked out, um, what would you call it? Blacked out accents to it. As you can see, the black kidney grills as well. And obviously, as you all know, the M5 aggressive front end. And I apologize for that bird. Can't really control that. <laughs> but coming down here, and I and I do believe on most 2020 BMWs, you wouldn't get these type of wheels. I know these aren't the top of the line wheels. I believe these are the base base model wheels, but you still get the slotted rotors. You still get the blue end performance brake calipers. Coming around the back, you have the same deal going on. Slotted rotors with the blue end performance brake calipers as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull the key out of my pocket and we're gonna go ahead and step inside, guys. As you all know, the generic BMW performance key with the M stripes, you have your unlock, lock, trunk release, and the um, panic. But we're just gonna unlock it. As you're gonna see, the mirrors unfold for us. And obviously this does have the smart access feature where you just tap your hand on the rigid and she locks right up for you all. Then I unlock by just putting my hand behind the door. You're immediately approached with this very, very nice, somewhat of um, caramel orange is looking interior. I love it. Me personally, I love it. Have the M5 badge, just like the 2018 model. Stepping inside, you have the same thing on the seats. And I like the um, the black coming down the center. That's a very, very nice touch to detail. And it goes all the way up to the headrest, as you all can see. And this M5 does light up whenever you step into the car, but whenever you're um, actually in the car, it does turn off after a while. And I don't know if you all can tell, but it has somewhat of some gray stitching. That's pretty, pretty neat right there. It's not normal black. It's not the same color as the seat. It's actually gray. I was very thoughtful of BMW. But as you all know, you don't have the normal standard pedals. You have somewhat of the racing style type pedals and the actual real metal and aluminum. As you all can see. Harman Kardon speakers. As you all know, every M5 get that stepping inside one thing that is different from the normal bmw is the sport i mean um not the sport but the display um by itself we're gonna go ahead and put our foot on the brake pedal hit the start stop button she's gonna fire right up guys I'm gonna close this door but as you all can see it has a new display for um the 2020 bmw m5 the 2018 m5 doesn't have the full digital display. Well, it has a digital display, but as you all know, you have the circles right here. And this one has somewhat of the M8 um, display. That's what it reminds me of, of the M8 display. But pretty much everything seems the same as the normal 2018 M5. If you all haven't seen that video, it will be down in the link below. You still have the Alcantara on the roof. But as far as that, the only thing that's different is the display to me. The display. 
You still have your red accent, as you all can see. But if you all are coming for the 2020 BMW M5, I'm gonna give you all the full in-depth review anyways. But as you all can see, you still have the rigid, um, I'm not sure what type of material they call this. If you do, please comment down below. But opening that up, you have the wireless charger and you still have your cup holders on both sides. You have the M Performance on your shifter and you have the red inlay. That's a very, very nice touch. And coming up here, you have the transmission setting, whether you want it aggressive, kind of aggressive and not aggressive at all. As you all can see, if I if I put this thing in drive, what we're gonna do is it's gonna sit like this. A lot of people have a difficult time um, controlling the shifter, but this is all that you all have to do. Click over for drive, over for neutral, and over and up for reverse. As you can see, the reverse camera pops up for us. But let's put it in drive and I'm gonna show you all the transmission settings. Now, as you all can see coming over here, you have the transmission dial, as you can see, or you maybe can't see, but let's, let's do this for you all. And pay close attention to the bars. Now I'm gonna click up. As you can all can see, it turned white. And that's fully aggressive and it's all the way up. Drop a notch, it's in the middle. Drop another notch, it's in, um, it's not gonna be as aggressive. So that's very, very nice for anybody that don't want the very aggressive shifting in sport mode or whatever it is like that. You can always control your transmission on how it shifts. It, and this is very, very lightly shifting. As you all can see, everything is in comfort, your suspension, your steering, and your engine. But that can easily be modified right here. And what, I, and what you wanna do is, for engine, just click it one time. As you all can see, it turned red sport. Then, what we're gonna do is click it again, and that's gonna go sport plus for us, guys. And you can do the same thing with the suspension coming down here, sport, click it again, sport plus. And your steering, obviously, is gonna tighten up for you when you go sport or either sport plus. It's a very, very nice touch to detail that they add that for you all. And if you're um, driving in your neighborhood neighborhood, and don't want the neighbors to know that you're coming home or don't want to be too loud, you can easily turn that off. And the valves are going to close up for you all in the rear. Or if you want to get on it where you're at the track, you can click that. And the valves are going to open up for you all. That's very, very nice that BMW did that um, touch as well. You obviously have your traction control up here. If you want to go off, it can go off. MDM just stand, as you can see, the MDM four wheel drive turned on. And I believe that's still four wheel drive. And hold that um hold that down. And you fully turned off traction control. I believe it's going to be an um two wheel drive. So only the rear wheel drive will um, kick in and you can slide it, do whatever you would like to do. But it's still showing four wheel drive, guys. I'm not 100% I'm not sure why, but I believe it's going to um, drift or whatever you would like to do, burn out rubber. I'm pretty sure if you hold that down, it's gonna fully turn off traction control and you, the front tires aren't gonna move, but the rear tires will move for you all. But coming up here, we have all our, our climate control, your heated seats, your fan speed, um, no, not your fan speed, heated seats and cooled seats. You can have both on at the same time. That's pretty, pretty nice. But you have your fan, fan speed, your temperature right here. Just scroll that down, pick of your choice. Obviously you have your AC max right here and whatever position you would like it. And it is dual climate. So you're, you can be cold and your passenger can be hot if they would like. As you all can see the defrost, just click it again, click it again to whatever position of the seat you would like. And coming up here, I'm not 
sure if you all can see that but it does have the massage seats as well guys what you're going to do is if you would like it intense it will um have all three bars lit up if you want it kind of tense but not so harsh on you you're going to click it again and it's going to drop a level then very very lightly you're going to um it's going to be very very light on you but you can have all of that modified you can have all of that modified in your system right here so let's go to home Let's go to home guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the massage again it's gonna give us all the options we need right now it's on level three as you all can see and depending on your choice you can have hip you can have upper body you can have your whole body if you like and you can have your back shoulder lumbar upper again whole body depending on your choice you can um you can get a massage whichever you would like that's a pretty pretty neat touch for a vehicle that you're going to pay 100 grand for and i just like it i really really like it coming up here you have all of your um you have that material as you had down here and the m5 i believe only come equipped with this type of interior with, with this type of finish but one thing that i think is pretty cool about this system is this activation this um hand gesture movement right here you can turn it up with your finger if you would like so you all can see it's turning up as you can see it's turning it down guys if you would like to turn it just do your hand like that and the radio station will turn for you all go that way it's going to turn for you all again and i believe that's a pretty pretty neat touch to me as well but we're gonna go ahead and step out. I'm gonna show you all the back seat. It's very, very roomy. Stepping in the back. Your passengers also have that black stripe in the center as well coming up. Apartment card and speakers as well. The back passengers are approached with the M5 badge as well with that steel aluminum finish. That's very, very nice. It's not cheap or plastic loop plastic or anything like that guys and as you can see the door panel the door panel has that somewhat of brown caramel caramel interior as well coming up here i really like the privacy shades and if you get tints on your shades as well it's going to be very very dark but let's go ahead and step on in head space is very good you have the rear shades as well. You have the Harman Kardon speakers on both sides as well. Flip this down. Cup holders for the passenger as well. And this doesn't open. I thought it did, guys. <laughs> but as you can see, the um, back passengers can control their AC or heat if they would like. And they both have dual sides as well whether that passenger want to be cold or you want to be hot that's pretty pretty neat i love the way the back seats look i love the back i love the way the front seats look from the back i love the whole cockpit to be honest like just that bulge it's kind of shaped like a body bmw did a very very unique job when creating this car Alcantara for the back passenger as well. Privacy shades. And if you all don't know, this aluminum light right here, the lighting at night is very, very crazy. As you all can see that line of lighting, that lights up very, very bright for the back passengers. And you have the same for the front passengers as well as it lights up along that line right there. And their door um, panel lights up as well. It's very, very neat, guys. But coming to the trunk, show you all the trunk space. Excuse my backpack. Very, very neat trunk space, guys. See some of that brown mocha, orange interior a little bit. 
have a storage pocket right here. We have a first aid kit, all that good stuff right here. Let's put that back. Have a little net just in case you don't want anything rolling around in the trunk. But yeah, that's the trunk. I'm not sure how many suitcases you all can fit, but you should have a pretty decent size of um, storage. And if you all don't know, these hooks right here, just in case you want to tie anything down and you don't want it rolling around, you have your unlock and your lock button right here. If you would like to lock the car while closing the trunk, just hit that. If you would like to just close the trunk, you would just hit that. Let's check out the engine, guys. You also have a storage right there. All your headlight um, settings right here. And open that hood up. As you all can see, that 600 horsepower motor. Very, very nice. You have two wind tanks right here. And right here. Somewhat of a quadrifiber finish. Right there. Right here. Have that M. And you have it up here as well. And that's a very unique touch. Soft padding right here. Close that up. But as far as that, that's going to wrap up this review, guys. Please like again. Please comment and subscribe if you all enjoyed this content. Please subscribe. Please subscribe, guys. I'm getting the views, but not the subscribers. So I would greatly appreciate if you all would subscribe. This is Fastlane M5, and this is the in-depth review.